well. Here we are back from Agat Creek. Uh, it's 28th of July now. We've been back for a month. This is a specimen that uh, my mate Steve picked up there and I said I'd give it a bit of a look at for him. Make a good doorstop anyway. Weighs about four or five kilos I suppose. Anyway, it's a good sample, a good example of how uh, agate forms in the basalt, in the gas holes or the vesicles. And as the uh, basalt decomposes, it flakes off like this here with weathering, the heat and the cold, and the agates uh, drop out on the ground where we come along a couple of million years later and uh, pick them up. Another little agate there. Gave it a bit of a shine. Anyhow, it's a reasonable looking doorstop. This is from Agate Creek. A couple of thunder eggs from up through Spring Creek. Down through Ewenden with the uh, Ballam Knights. A fossil squid or whatever. Another assorted rubbish. This is Agate Creek from last month. Mainly thunder eggs from across the uh, road from camp, uh, the first camp. And this is the nerve centre. bit of equipment here. The 14 inch saw. A few wheels here. Four wheels. Lawton from Aussie Sapphire. They do a good job. Moving right along we've got an old Lovecraft made in Fortitude Valley when phone numbers were six digits. It's an old Thompson, I believe. It's a good unit, solid. Another four-wheeler here, Lawton from Aussie Sapphire. Andrew and Leah Lane do a very good job. Here's a plug. And my original two-wheeler. Apart from that, oh yeah, we've got an old uh, Bible lap over here. 20 inch or 22 inch or something. I must get back to that. Kick it over one day soon. Anyway, back to the job at hand. Stephen's doorstop. There it is. I'm down to Brisbane this weekend, so I'll drop that off for Stephen. Maybe my wife doesn't kick a toe on it. With that, we'll cut.